What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Biker Mike Motors. Coming to you today with a free boat video, as you could tell from the thumbnail. This is the ad I first seen. The guy said he had like 100 people message him. I was the second. First guy never showed up, so I ended up getting it. Here's how it All went. right, guys, we made it. We are here picking up the free boat. I don't even know what kind it is yet, <laughs> but we are here. The gentleman that owns this house, he bought the property, said it was on the property. A gentleman that lived here before died. A new gentleman bought the property and it had a few things on it when he got here. Unfortunately, the guy couldn't be here. He was more than willing to be on camera, but he uh, had prior obligations. So we are uh, we are getting her loaded up right now. We got one tire on this side. I got the other one off the other side. My dad, who you can see over there. Thank you, dad. He is helping me, uh, took the trip with me and he's looking at the bearing over there. I know about bearings. I've you know done a few myself, but uh, he's got a lot more experience with it. So thank you, dad. A lot, a lot feeling a lot better with you here. So um, we got the, 97 gold f-350 nicknamed goldilocks out doing some work today I have a separate video on that truck at some point in the future but i just want to give you a quick walk around on this and then i gotta get to work because i hear my dad hammering over there he's gonna be set not gonna hand but i want to do a quick quick walk around on it oh and i got <laughs> And not plant very well there's fire ants all over the place i've already gotten bit about 10 times but i just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the uh the new to me free boat which it's got a little free shrub that comes with it evan rude v4 trailer is actually in really good shape looks like the wheel bearing would be replaced on this side i think my dad's putting a new one in the other side right now we bought a couple extras we got with us hull doesn't look too bad Oh, guys, I'm, gonna, I'm on the fence about this one. I might do, it's in my nature to hook a battery up to it and see if I can get it started, but I don't know how much more I'm going to do to it than that. I may just run it through auction, but that's uh, to be determined at this point, to be determined. So just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the new boat here. We got it hooked up. It's sprayed PB Blaster there. Got that uh, freed up, locked on. There was a uh, jack stand holding the trailer up, so we got that out of there really does not look too bad oh i love that sound too love that sound one last quick look at the boat here before we finish up getting it ready to go I'm gonna try to beat the sun out of here today so we're not heading back in the dark which the <laughs> i didn't i didn't bring the there's a adapter for the lights on this one the seven to five i think it's called seven to five prong and it's got the five prong on it here and i only got the seven of the trailer and i have the adapter but it's hooked up to my van right now and i just forgot to bring it because i wasn't even thinking about the lights i figured they just wouldn't work but guys the trailer looks like it's in really good shape so free facebook marketplace find picking it up right now and uh hopefully our next video will be around looking at it in the driveway and not looking at it on the side of the road so stay tuned we'll see what happens All here right. one last look before we hit the road did a little bit extra strapping down for safety strap the front down strap the back down that way it won't be bouncing or moving anywhere because i don't know anything about this boat oh i thought the lights might work but i guess uh, i guess i ate my words on that one i might be able to connect them back but i'm gonna try to make it home before this gets too dark it's about uh probably about six o'clock right now we got about another hour hour or so to dark and we got about another hour and 20 minutes to get home so see what happens wish me luck and we're about to hit the road first person to tell you I was a little nervous before we um, you know just thinking about the possibilities of stuff that can go wrong with uh, something like this that you're not sure of any history of it or how long it's been sitting which it was sitting for at least a couple of years so mission accomplished guys mission accomplished we got it home um, we had the one stop where I kind of showed you guys there we checked the wheel bearings and just make sure that they weren't getting heated up too much and 
we, you know, it was about a 90 mile trip from my house. And we just pulled in the driveway about a minute ago and they're just warm. I mean, they're barely, barely warm. So that's a good, good sign. We're gonna go over this more in the morning. I am beat, guys. I am so tired. It's uh, It's been a long day, even before the boat adventure started. So we got a little bit of cleaning out to do. It's first thing in the morning. I'm gonna get this thing cleaned out and kind of go through it, see what we got. I actually already found a registration that was in it. Um, I didn't look it over too good, but I, found, I did find the registration. So take a look at that tomorrow, seeing the last time it was registered and everything. It's got a, I haven't even really looked at it, but it's got an Evinrude 120 on it. And I think it says V4 in the front. Yes, V4 120 Evinrude. If anybody knows anything about these, let me know. Uh, it looks like to me, it probably had the lower end replaced with a uh, lower unit replaced with a one off another motor that was white. Mm, to me, that was means someone was taking care of it. So, or at least keeping it running. So that's uh. That's where we're at right now. I know it's probably kind of hard to see here, so we will uh, we will get a better look at everything tomorrow, tomorrow morning when the sun's out. But I just wanted to let you guys know we made it. We made it, and the free boat is in the driveway. And we're back with a daylight update <laughs> the next day. So happy we made it home last night. Uh, that was a huge win in my book. Anytime you're messing with something like this that has been sitting for unforeseen amounts of time and you just don't know what's going on with it, you can end up on the side of the road real fast. So luckily we got here safe. There was no major issues that came up other than, you know, the lights. Uh, we got the lights working and the blinkers worked and the daylight running, the daytime running lights worked. But when you press the brakes, on the truck, the brakes on the trailer would go out. So that was pretty much the only issue that we had. And you know, we got back here safe, which is the main thing. The boat, as you can see, it's seen better days, seen better days. What do you expect for free though? I mean, what do you expect for free? So this thing, it's a Javelin. Uh, I think it was a 16 or 17 footer Javelin. And it's got the, the 120 on it. Like we were talking about last night. Came with a trolling motor. From what I could tell, the Javelins, they came factory from, you know, brand new with a trolling motor. So that's probably been on there since it was new. Uh, the inside of the boat. Yeah, I threw out a couple larger items just so I could kind of show you guys a little better what's going on here. And we'll see a lot better once I get this cleaned out a little more. But it's been sitting for a while, guys. There's a tree growing <laughs> from the middle of the boat. A pretty big tree. So... That's a pretty telltale sign. This thing's been sitting for a while. There's a cool old gas can in there too. And I actually found a couple other things like this. Uh, there was a tackle box or a little plastic container with all new fishing lures in it. So maybe I'll even get a chance to go test those out sometime soon. I would love to do that. I love fishing. Just don't get to do it nearly as much as I'd like. Now the seat was in there too. I mean, all the other seats are tore up, but this one must have been underneath something or blocked from the sun and elements a little bit because it looks almost perfectly fine. But, and the trailer, the trailer's in good shape too. I mean, that's really not bad. Everything, uh, everything on the trailer seems solid, but I just don't know where we're gonna go with this thing yet. I'm not sure, not sure if I wanna go ahead and try to fix it or if we should run it through the auction or somewhere in between. I don't know. You guys comment below and tell me what you think because I'm a kind of uh, mixed feelings on this right now. But what we're doing right now is getting a little deeper clean on it, getting the rest of that stuff thrown out in there. I'm going to pressure wash the outside and then we'll be back to see what she looks like. You guys ready? Let's get this thing cleaned off. Well, as much as we can with the pressure wash.
All right, guys, we got her pressure washed, and I'd say she's looking a little better. I'd say definitely not perfect, but better than what it was. And um, but actually, before we even get into that, let me kind of show you a few things here that I pulled out of the boat. Um, there's a got some rod saver things down there. I think it's just to hold the rods in the boat. They look brand new. We got these ears uh, for the engine here. Seat. Most of the upholstery has gone off it. Another seat here. Two anchors here. Paddle in case you break down. Anchor there. Anchor there with the rope with them. Uh, here was that. You guys remember that tree that was going out of there? That's a beast. A resilient little tree. It was uh, growing through. There's a hatch in the middle between the seats. And it was actually grew through the hatch. And it was the root was growing. That's pretty amazing growing right through the weather stripping as you can see that's the weather stripping the black part here i hope that comes out on camera but the root was growing right down the middle of it and right to there so i actually when i pulled the tree up the whole hatch came with it that covers the hole there so we got the like i showed you before we got the tackle box that seat there another seat here those uh we got two of the wheels there that actually came on the trailer i had to bring two of my own to get it home but those were two of the wheels there, which are the like, stainless steel, I think they are. So uh, back to the boat, guys. This thing, we got everything pressure washed here. A lot of these little jumping spiders in here, if you can see that, that little thing there running around, they were all over this. And I'd be the first to admit, I would rather be locked in a room with a grizzly bear than a spider. But <laughs> I pushed through, got it clean, got it pressure washed, uh, Everything I would say looks a lot better. I mean, there was a, I mean, you, a film of just green nastiness all over this. The engine, you guys remember, this was almost like black on the side, and we're now you can see the white that was underneath it. Unfortunately, I did. Um, I was trying to be very delicate going over the emblem because I knew it was probably very dry and brittle, and as easy as I could be on it, I barely hit it the first time, and it just flew right off and fell apart so i got the pieces i may try to glue them back on i'm not sure yet uh we got the uh hatch here for the, that's another thing i found was a drain plug there we got the hatch here where the batteries go down there you got your oil there for your premix, gas tank there and i pressure washed off the top of this thing. Hey, there's the pieces that broke off there of the emblem oh i tried to i hit the inside of this quick here and just give it a get the majority of the stuff off it and it came out i would say pretty good pretty good not not too bad um everything i checked out the engine actually uh the throttle connection still work in it uh, so i was <laughs> pretty happy to see that all these these here i think there's a live well and some other storage a little bit of water in this one the other one's almost completely dried out and i'm just gonna finish doing a quick walk around here the whole, I've been thinking about this, guys, and and like I said before, you comment and tell me what you'd like to see, what you think I should do with this, but I'm kind of thinking that this should just go straight to auction. It's too much of a project. I got too many other things going on and coming up here in the near future to try to take on a project that's this big. It's just, I think it would just be too much. And I don't know, I was debating, debating just bringing it right to auction, but the motor head in me, doesn't is not going to let me <laughs> just bring it without at least hooking a battery up to this thing and seeing if i can get it to turn over so that's my plan right now i just wanted to show you what the pressure washed version of this boat looked like and i'm gonna go in the garage grab a battery let's see if this thing does anything all right well we got two good batteries in here i just pulled out of the garage i checked them they're both fully charged I got this one in here, which the connections here looked relatively new. I mean, that was on here already. And you can see that thing, it don't look too bad. The other side, a little different story over there. I had to get a pair of vice grips and the end of this thing was just completely, it's hard to see, but there it was gone. It was only the wire sticking out. So I got that on there with that and I literally just hooked it up. So before we do anything, we're going to take a look and see if there's any uh, smoke coming from anywhere here. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure we're not gonna have any electrical fires um guys this is the first time i've had this thing hooked up to batteries here so we're just gonna before we do anything we're just gonna do a little quick inspection to make sure we're not catching anything on fire here and 
like I said before, um, this was like this when I picked the boat up, the ignition here. And it's supposed to go in this hole here. So that makes me think that maybe the boat just had an ignition issue. Maybe there was just a starting issue with it. And that's why it was parked, you know, originally parked to begin with. So everything looks okay. I don't see anything crazy going on. Everything is okay. I didn't hear any noises when I hooked the batteries up. Um, before we do anything, let's, let's see if the trim works. No way. Uh, the down, oh, down does work. <laughs> Up and down do work. The bottom's a little, a little funky, but I just heard it work. Oh, now the top's not working either. Okay, this switch, to be expected, is probably kind of bad. I'm sure that sitting outside and getting rain down in the elements forever did not, uh, did not do the best for it. But <laughs> let's go ahead and turn the key, guys. Let's see what she does. I'm pretty excited right now. I don't don't have too high hopes for this, but here we'll shut these, shut the latches here so we can get a little better view of it uh, should i leave this one open just so we can see the yeah i'm gonna leave this one up open just so in case something does start smoking or something we'll see it before it hopefully turns into too big of a problem all right guys well let's uh see if i can one hand this here and oh, no it doesn't look like it did anything nope i eh, don't do nothing Well, I dropped the phone trying to start it one-handed, which could be a blessing and a curse because, well, the phone didn't break, which is a good thing. But also, while that happened, I went back and checked the battery connections. It looked like the one of them just got a little loose. And before I even turn that, let me show you guys. Oh, I wonder if we lost power again. Yeah, I, I bet you this thing, I don't even know if it was the battery connection itself. It could have been maybe it was just something in the wiring in here and that's why they had this pulled out like i was saying before but let me see if i can uh let's see if she'll do anything here because oh yeah oh yeah you guys hear that oh oh we are got a little smoke though we got a little smoke we got a little smoke okay i uh i don't know if that came on the camera but it was smoking a little bit down there and that's enough for me to probably not want to do that anymore uh, and i can smell it a little bit of electrical burn there let me just we're going to keep a close eye on this for a second and make sure we're not about to burn anything up here Whew, i always get a little scared with the, always get a little scared with that let's go go ahead and pull this off here too show you guys the engine underneath the cowling here i think we got three yep three of these little latches let's see if i can do this one on camera oh yeah not too bad not too bad There we go. The V4 with all of its four-cylinder might. <laughs> I wonder how fast this boat would go. I mean, it had to move along pretty good with a... It's only a little 16-foot fiberglass boat with, you know, 16, 17 with a 120 on it. I mean, it, to me, that's got to run at least 45, 50 miles an hour. Now here's the throttle linkage here, which still got some grease on it. And it's moving around. Oh guys, I part of me wants to just try to fire this up so bad and part of me is thinking that maybe I shouldn't, but the little kid in me is saying turn that key and see what happens. <laughs> I'm a motorhead, guys. I can't help it. I just like to I have to mess with this stuff. Uh here's the starter here. You got your cylinder heads here. And as you can see, I mean, it really does not look not look too bad and obviously this has been you know under a cover so it's been out of the elements a little more than everything else but even this little uh what would you call that there freeze plug I mean, even that doesn't look i wonder if this engine has been rebuilt <sighs> i really don't know really don't know one thing i uh and i know just from sitting a lot of this stuff adds up but the propeller didn't move when i first got it and when I was pressure washing, I didn't get it on camera, but I just kind of grabbed it and worked it free. And it spins good now. <sighs> and we're going to have to just give it one more, <laughs> one more try on the key. And we're going to leave this hatch open so we can see if anything is getting smoky or, you know, we need to shut it down before it turns into a bigger problem. Let's give it a little extra. Let's see, I think put it in neutral. There's a little switch. Oh yeah, underneath here. Up, 
give it a little bit of fuel list a little bit of throttle not that there's i didn't even check the gas tank but i if there is any fuel in there i'm sure it's bad but just to see but this will give you a little better idea you should see the flywheel on top there spinning okay we we have nothing again we have nothing again i oh you guys hear that It sounds like it's like, it's making a little click back there. Let's, let's take it back into neutral. It feels like neutral there. Try it again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We don't want to do that too much. So let's check to see, do we got any smoke coming from back here? I do not see any smoke. So <laughs> that is a good sign. No smoke's a good sign. But you guys seen it for yourself. You guys seen it for yourself. I, that thing is uh, turning over. And to me, it sounds pretty healthy. It sounds like it's got good compression. Um, it's turning over fast. So the starter seems good. Let's get, just get one more try here. Oh, guys, this is... What am I getting myself into here? What am I getting myself into? One more try. Oh, man. She turns over good, guys. She turns over good. Oh, geez. Part of me wants to spray a little starting fluid in there, but part of me is going to have to think about this because, like I said, I have a lot going on right now with other projects, and um, I need your guys' help on this one. I need your help. <sighs> We're going to have to think about this. All right, guys. We're going to call it a day today, at least with the boat, because I got some other stuff to get to before the day's even over. But comment below let me know what you think about this thing because i'm i'm having mixed feelings right now i was committed to bringing this thing to auction and just calling it a day you know not messing with it anymore and just hearing that motor turn over like that has got has got the juices flowing right now and i don't think the juice is worth the squeeze on this one but it maybe maybe we'll just mess with it enough just to get that engine to fire up and stay running or at least fire up for a second to see if you know maybe spray some starting fluid in it and maybe we could just you know for sure make sure it sounds like a good motor and also another thing to think about is going to auction they will hook a battery up to it and if it starts and runs they'll list it as engine starts which that to me seems like it would bring more money i don't know guys i don't know this might be the first part of a few part video but for now the boat's not going to go anywhere in the next week or so I got a few other things to take care of first, so I think I'm going to try to get this video posted tonight. And you guys, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and also comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you'd like to see any more of the boat, or if it's something that don't interest you, I'll send it right to auction, and I'll put a link in there so you can guys see what it sells for. But either way, that's going to be the end of this video. You guys stay safe out there. I'm going to be dreaming about this boat tonight, and I'll catch you in the next one.